Today, I'm gonna make a canvas board. Now that I have all my supplies ready, I can start making this canvas board. Canvas boards are great for hand building, great place to roll out your clay, it's easy to clean up. I love being able to take it to the sink or move my project if I need that table space. And it's also good because the clay doesn't stick to the canvas because the canvas wicks away some of that moisture which allows the clay to be released from it. Whereas working directly on my table would be a bad idea because the surface is a veneer and it's super smooth. The clay would stick to it terribly so having a canvas board is great. As you can see here, I'm stapling my canvas to the back of my wooden board. If you want to make a canvas board, you want to use plywood because plywood has a lot of glue in it and that's going to prevent the wood from absorbing too much water and prevent it from warping. Explaining how to staple the canvas in words is a little tricky, so hopefully combined with the video you can get an understanding to do your own. When stretching a canvas, you want to make sure that the whole canvas is taut across the front of your board. You need to make sure that you start by stretching the center and work your way out towards the corners. This is going to ensure that you don't get any wrinkles in the canvas and that it doesn't start to sag in a short amount of time. So I'm starting in the center of each side of the board putting one staple in and then turning the board all the way around to do the opposite side. Once I have that initial staple in on each side, I'm going to then put in two staples on each side in turns. One on the left of the first staple and one on the right. After I've done all four sides, I'll repeat that, putting two staples on each side, each time working my way out further towards the left and right. This goes on for a while. Let me speed it up for you.
you can see I'm cutting off the excess canvas. Now initially I left the canvas long as I needed to be able to pull it tight with my fingers. But now that I'm getting to the end, about ready to staple the corners down, I don't need all that extra fabric so I'm just cutting it right off. And now it's time for some tricky folding. You could just leave the corners kind of loose or just fold them down and staple them flat. But it really bothers me when there's extra canvas waving around at the corners. So I spend a fair amount of time folding and twisting around the canvas until it's all tucked underneath itself and then just staple it right in. Let's put in a couple more staples, just for good measure. Then I'm going to do each of the remaining three corners, just like that first one. Folding the canvas around until it's tucked under itself, and giving it three staples for good measure, just like so. Okay, I really like the way this footage turned out, so let's watch one more corner. And with that, it's ready to go. Let's give it a test run. Works great. See you next time.